is Teresa with My Crochet Obsession, and today I want to show you how I crochet this giant sunflower. This flower is so much fun. Now, it's rather large, but I discuss in the tutorial ways to make it different sizes. You can go smaller, you can go larger. This sunflower I'm making today measures 10 inches with the leaves. And here's the way it looks on the back. I think it's very neat and tidy on the back. And so it lends itself to being uh, on a different types of applications where the back might actually show. Well, enough talk. Let's get started. For today's sunflower tutorial, I will be using worsted weight number four yarn. I'm using some scraps in my colors of chocolate brown and a bright yellow for my petals and my envy green for the leaves. This particular flower needs a stitch multiple of three on the outside round of stitches in order to create the sunflower petals. This flower will also, whenever we get finished, it's gonna have an outside row of leaves all the way around in the same stitch as the petals. Very pretty, it's one of my favorite sunflowers. Of course, they're all my favorite. <laughs> I just like to make flowers, that's all there is to it. Using your preferred method, uh, begin with a slip ring or a ring, form a ring on your hook. Chain three and double crochet into the ring. Twelve. Total, counting your chain up as a double crochet. So that's three. and 12. Double count before we close the ring and close our stitches. Stitch round, let's count to make sure we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we do. So, slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and it is your chain up okay and now pull the ring closed as best you can you should feel it when it's all the way closed and not going to come open i'm going to take the opportunity to crochet over my yarn end in this row of stitches chain three one two and three and double crochet back into that same stitch. Two, we're having a double crochet increase in these stitches. So we'll have two stitches in the top of each double crochet from the previous round for a total of 24 stitches.
and 24. I did count my stitches while I was stitching. Slip stitch to join into the top of the first stitch, which is your chain up. Okay. Slip stitch and chain three again. One, two, three. And that counts as the first double crochet. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet in the next stitch. And that will be the stitch pattern for this round. And it will uh, create a total of 36 stitches at the end of the round. We're going to have a really large center of this particular sunflower. And you know, the Russian sunflowers are those giant sunflowers that grow six and eight feet tall and follow the sun all day and have the really big heads and all of the wonderful seeds that we're able to roast and eat and feed the birds. And mm, I love good sunflower seed, but I like them already shelled. I don't, I, they're called a sunflower akin, A-K-I-N, I believe, is the way that is spelled. That's what I like. I like to get them already shelled. And even for my birds that I feed, I get the shelled ones. Otherwise, you have so much trash underneath the bird feeder. I will count the stitches before we go to the last row of the flower center because we need to make sure that we have 36 stitches. The sunflower petals, as I may have mentioned before, it takes a stitch count of three. So you are, can predetermine how large your sunflower is by how many increases and how big that you make your center, as long as it's uh, a multiple of three. So if you start with a center of 12 and each row is increasing by 12, every row should be a multiple of three because you're increasing by 12 stitches every round. And it looks like I'm turning out right. And the way I know that is my last stitch before my slip stitch to join is a two because I started with a one. So let's take a minute, a second, and count the stitches. All right, that's 36 and slip stitch into the top of the chain up. And chain two. And into the next stitch, single crochet and single crochet in the top of each stitch all the way around. This just creates a little bit sturdier of a base to put to add the petals to, not uh, so that the stitches don't open up too much. If you go right into the double crochets from the last round, they have a tendency to open up a little bit and make holes. single crochet all the way around and that first chain up of two counts as a stitch
As we examine how ways to make sunflowers this week, the uh, flowers themselves, the stitches will be a little bit more detailed, not necessarily complex. We've done all of the stitches before in this 30 Days of Flower series. We're just going to be combining them in one flower for our um, next sunflowers. All right, and this should be our last single crochet. Let me count them though. Make sure I don't have an extra one. And slip stitch into that first one. Okay, don't count the loop on the hook. Nope, I have one extra, so I'll take that last one out and then slip stitch. That happens to me frequently. That last stitch, I put an extra one in there. And now I'm going to pull this loop up and turn my flower center over, insert my hook in from the back and pull that loop to slip stitch to join. I'm going to pull that slip stitch to the back and then from there, I'm going to chain one and pull up a loop. Clip my yarn. And the flower center is complete. And uh, my ends are woven in. Here is the front. And it's just as pretty on the back, but it is the back of the stitches. The measurement of the center. This flower center. Is a little over four maybe four and an eighth inches so this is going to be a large sunflower like the large giant Russian sunflowers now to begin the petals we need to have a base round that goes all the way around the center that we build the larger petals on so with a slip knot on your hook in your chosen petal color I'm going to do a standing double crochet so with my middle finger I hold that loop on the hook and yarn over one more time where I have two loops now I'm holding two loops onto the hook insert the hook into any of the single crochets from the last round of the flower center insert that hook and pull up a loop now there's three loops on the hook and I adjust my yarn in from the original slip knot to the front yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and that's a standing double crochet now i'm going to go back out of the top loop i just wanted to complete that double crochet uh, standing double crochet so that you could see it but in these stitches we're going to do a double crochet two together so we're going to yarn over again and go into the same stitch Pull up a loop. Now we have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. And that's a double crochet two together. Now chain two. Yarn over and into the next stitch, double crochet two together. Four loops on the hook. Pull through two and pull through all three loops on the hook. Now, skip a stitch and double crochet two together into the next stitch. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And now chain two into the next stitch, double crochet two together.
in the where you skip a stitch there's not any chains and i had put a chain there it forms kind of a v so we do, we skip a stitch and double crochet two together and then chain two and into the next stitch double crochet two together skip one and then just double crochet two together chain two and double crochet two together so it's constantly a, a pattern of twos you double crochet two together chain two skip one into the second stitch double crochet two together chain two double crochet two together into the next stitch let's look at the way our base round looks and analyze it so you have a stitch and then a skip and two stitches together that kind of forms a v and then a skip and, and your v skip v skip and a v okay so i'm going to go back and put in my stitches and return for the next round and i think i have my base round complete but i want to check before i have two and a skip two a skip two okay because sometimes i go ahead and put a chain two again in between and I've had to frog it out, so I want to double check before I proceed. Okay, I think it's right. All right. Now, to I will into the top of that uh, standing double crochet and slip stitch. And chain one and single crochet back into that same stitch. And now insert the hook into the chain two space from the base round and slip stitch. Chain two, double crochet, double crochet again. So that's three double crochet counting the chain up. Move those stitches over. The next stitch is a treble crochet. And that's, let me walk you through that in case you're a newcomer and first time to do this. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the chain space and pull up a loop. You have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's a treble crochet. Now we're going to put the point on the end of our petals and you can choose uh, we've done this pico before. You can choose whether you want to do a chain two pico or a chain three. I'm going to do a chain three this time to create large petals. So one, two, three, chain, and then back into the top of those, the one loop that's on the front of the two stitches that I just completed, and slip stitch. And that is the pico completed. Now, treble crochet again, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the chain space and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now, two double crochet. And to complete this petal, chain two, Slip stitch back into the same chain space and single crochet into the next stitch. And that is one petal complete. And now slip stitch into the next chain space. Chain two, that counts as your first double crochet. Two double crochet back into the same chain space. 
Treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert the hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Chain three, insert the hook into the top two loops of the previous two stitches and slip stitch to form a pico. Travel again, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Adjust your stitches, two double crochet into the same chain space, chain two, slip stitch into the chain space, and single crochet into the next stitch. All right, let's look at our petals. Aren't these beautiful? I love this. Okay, I'm gonna uh, go with you one more time on a petal to catch that um, the stitch pattern repeat. So insert your hook into the chain space and pull up a loop, slip stitch. Chain two. That counts as a double crochet. Double crochet two into the chain space. Treble crochet, yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Three chain pico, one, two, three. Slip stitch. In, uh, insert the hook into the two loops from the previous two stitches, pull through a loop, and slip stitch to complete the pico. Treble crochet, two double crochet, chain two, slip stitch into the same chain space and single crochet into the next stitch. And that is your pattern repeat for all of the petals all the way around and I will meet, join with you again when we get to our very first petal. And here is our beautiful giant sunflower complete. I've gone all the way around with all of my stitches and now I'm going to into that very first stitch. It's actually, I'm skipping this first one. I'm going into where I uh, did the slip stitch and to get over into my chain space. I'm going right into there and single crochet. All right, and then I'm going to go over to the back of my work and find a loop and slip stitch one more time. And I'm going to talk, let's talk a minute about this flower. Now, as was most of our uh, flower tutorials, it is possible to continue to add additional rows of petals. In today's giant sunflower, we will make another base row behind our existing petals in order to add our leaves. The same process that we will be using to add leaves would be the same process that you would use if you wanted to add additional petals. After we add this base row of yellow, we will be changing our yarn to green in order to add the leaves. But if you were continuing with your petals, you would just continue with your petal color. And this is the way that we will add the base row so that it doesn't show we will be using our yellow yarn. And we will slip stitch in between the two treble stitches and chain five all the way around the flower to add our leaves around our sunflower. Continue to slip stitch in between the two treble stitches 
and chain five all the way around the flower and I will rejoin you to begin to add the leaves. And that's the way our base round for our leaves looks. Now let's add the leaves. So with the slip knot on the hook, pull up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That is a standing single crochet. Now into the chain space, single crochet again. Chain two, double crochet two times, and I'm going over my green yarn end. Treble crochet two times, Now the next stitch is even taller than the treble and it's called the double treble. And you yarn over three times. So you have four loops on the hook and you insert the hook and pull up a loop. Now you have five loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. It's called a double treble. All right, now we're gonna chain three for our pico. One, two, three. Insert the hook into the two loops from the previous two stitches and slip stitch to form the point. Now we're going to double treble again, so yarn over three times. That's one, two, and three. Insert the hook into the chain space and pull up a loop. You have five loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. There's your double crochet. Now yarn over, pull through two. Whoop! Let's do it again. Three times. Insert the hook. There's your double. And then there's your treble. The, oh, and now we're going in descending, therefore now we need a regular treble. Yarn over twice, insert the hook, and a treble. And repeat that again with the treble. I'm having trouble today. And two doubles. In spite of the fact that I know what I'm doing with this flower, it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've also had a lot of distractions today while I'm trying to make this video. And another double. Chain two. Slip stitch into the same chain space. And now you can single crochet into that next single crochet if you want. I'm just going to jump over to my next chain space. I'm not gonna chain or anything. I'm just gonna jump into it. All right, and I'm gonna single crochet. Chain two. That's a double, that counts as a double. Now, two double crochet into the chain space. Two treble crochet. Double treble, yarn over three times, pull up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now pico, th chain three, slip stitch into the two loops from the previous two stitches. Double treble, yarn over three times. Two treble.
two doubles. Chain two and slip stitch into the next chain space, single crochet. I'm going to take my tail out there and start all over again. Let's look at the work, see where we're headed. All right, just kind of straighten those stitches out, tell them who's boss, where they're supposed to be. And if your uh, petals and leaves seem to be cupping a little bit and leaning forward, they do that. And that is the way it looks. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. But you can see this would be your same stitch height and sequence for if you put another row of sunflower petals. If you went taller, you don't have to go taller every round, but for the leaves, the leaves in nature are considerably larger than the petals. So that's why I, I made them taller. And that's the way it's going to look. I'm going to continue this the leaf stitch pattern all the way around. And I will rejoin you when I get to where we started. And here you have it. The beautiful large sunflower in nature. We would probably call this the Russian sunflower. And it is approximately 10 inches across. It's beautiful with all the picos and a little bit of space. Here's what it looks like on the back. It's just as beautiful on the back as it is the front, but it's the back. But the stitches are nice and uniform. I've got a lot of thread. I don't know where that's coming from. But anyway, uh, while I was finishing this up, I thought, okay, what could we use such a large sunflower for? Well, of course, it could be appliqued on something. And naturally, we could also make this into a square by putting another base round on the back. We could do that. But it would also be a nice candle mat right now. And it could also be a mug rug. I mean, mug rugs don't have to be rectangular. You know, something fun to look at while you're drinking your coffee and having uh, a, a little snack, something like that. I personally would love it on the back of a shawl. I would love it on the back of a cardigan or a vest for summer to throw over a t-shirt. I would probably do it with real open stitches. Anyway, I think it has a multitude of uses. I love the flower and I really appreciate your time spent with me today and the time that you're spending with me in the 30 days of flowers. Having received some value from this flower tutorial today, please like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell so you'll know whenever I put up a new tutorial. And remember, spread kindness everywhere you go. And until I see you again, keep calm and crochet on.